Hi everybody, Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of seven books, host of two PBS specials. Here again to bring you another tip on how to help you create the life you want. Specifically, how to use my life from the top of the mind philosophy to bring more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. Today I want to look at the subject of leadership, especially as it is contrasted to the concept of obedience. There is a quote that I'm sending out to those 6,000 folks on my quote list. By the way, if you would like to receive one of my favorite quotes each week, along with two or three paragraphs about how to apply that quote to life, just go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, or just Google Bill Crawford. I'll come up. Hit the subscribe button. It's free, and each week I will send you one of my favorite quotes, along with two or three paragraphs about how to apply it to life. This quote is one of mine. It says, Leadership is influencing others to do and be their best. Obedience is what you teach a dog. Now, let's look at that because I work with a lot of CEOs. I had the pleasure of being a Vistage speaker and Vistage is a wonderful organization that brings together CEOs for education, peer support, and I love that organization, do a lot of work with them. Therefore, I work with a lot of CEOs. And it's very common for them to say, Bill, how do we just get people to do what we want them to do, man? I just want to tell them what to do and have them do it. And I get it. I get that. I get how frustrating it is. When you want somebody to do something, you tell them and they don't get it. Here's the challenge. When we make obedience or just telling somebody what to do and have them do in our highest purpose, our main goal, there's two problems with that. And a lot of it has to do with how the brain processes information. For those of you who follow my life from the top of the mind philosophy, you know we got these three parts of the brain. Lower part of the brain is called the brain stem. Upper 80% of the brain is the neocortex. Middle brain is the limbic system. The limbic system is the scanner, processor, router part of the brain. So it interprets data as it comes in. So when, when people interpret us just telling them what to do without any sense of us wanting to bring out their best or do what's best for them as well, there's resentment, there's often frustration. Even if they obey us, okay, I'll do it, yeah, yeah, something might change later on where they need to actually modify what we've told them to do. But because they're into obedience, nope, that's what he told me to do. It's going to screw everything up, but I'll just do it that way. See, we lose their ability to think and to bring their best to their job. Plus, if they are in a position of leadership, whether it's in our organization or maybe in their family, all of a sudden they have this model of just do it because I told you to, and often that resistance gets passed on down through the organization. So let's look at what we're really going for. What we're really going for is for people to be enthusiastically cooperating with us wanting to follow our leadership because not only do they see the value of it for the organization, but they see the value of it for them. You know, I always talk about when, when we're wanting people to be cooperative, we got to actually influence or access that cooperative part of their brain. That means we have to ask ourselves the question, how is what I'm wanting them to do good for them? I know how it's good for me and the organization. How is it good for them? and framing that in a way that allows them to see that benefit so that they enthusiastically cooperate with what we're wanting them to do. And then if something changed, changes because, hey, things change, <laughs> then they can come back to us and say, hey, I know you asked me to do it this way. That makes sense. Now this has changed. Do you want me to modify that? Again, now we have that thought process, that cooperation, that coming from the upper 80% of the brain. We are actually influencing them to bring out their best, not only in this particular task, but in future conversations, future tasks as well. Now that means we have to be in the upper 80% of our brain. So one of the things I do when I'm working with CEOs as leaders is number one, show them how to shift from that resistant brain, that reactive brain, to that clear, confident, creative brain, from the brainstem to the neocortex, so that they can make sure they are bringing their best to the decision and the interaction. Then I show them how to get other people who are stuck maybe in that resistant brain, how do you get them to shift from their resistant brain to their receptive brain so they actually hear, understand, and cooperate with what we're wanting them to know? In that particular situation, we're not going for obedience, we're going for influence. If this is something you think would be valuable for you and or your organization, this is what I love to do. I go around the world now teaching leaders and organizations 
how to, how to bring out the best in others, and how to work cooperatively. So everyone is bringing their best to a particular decision or a particular action. Just go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, let me know what you're interested in, love to talk with you about that. In the meantime, here's to you, bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.